What's up, everybody? This is Jason, Zombie Collector, and I have a new TTM that I got through the mail this Saturday, so that was yesterday. I sent this out on December 1st, and it came back on the 12th, so that's 11-day turnaround. Again, I got the address from Star Tiger on the interwebs. So I sent him out this letter uh, along with this uh, Cubs team, team card and this 1968 card. He did not sign the team card, but he didn't sign the 68 tops. So that was pretty cool. Um, and then, like I said, I sent the letter. He did not return any of my questions. He just sent back this one Carl card autographed. So let me just talk a little bit about uh, Mr. Ken Holtzman. I didn't know much about him, uh, to be honest. I had this car laying around, and that's the one thing I love about vintage cards and sending them through the mail is that you learn something when you look at those cards because these guys you know have played 30 40 years ago is the last time they played sometimes even longer and it's really cool to go back and like learn a little bit about them so before i send out a letter i always obviously do some research so i can ask some questions and things of like that uh, and then obviously it helps me when i do these little uh videos and i can talk a little bit about this guy instead of just going I got this guy, Ken Holtzman, back. Have a good day. Thanks. So let's talk a little bit about Mr. Ken Holtzman. I sent, he's from St. Louis, Missouri. That is where I sent the request uh, to him. He is 75 years old, or maybe 75 years young. Uh, he made his debut with the Chicago Cubs on September 4th, 1965. And his last day with the MLB, or last time playing in the MLB, was September 19th, 1979, also with the Cubs. Now, he spent most of his time with the Cubs. He also had uh, about three or four years with the Oakland A's. He had a, a few years with the Yankees. And then I think he ended up back with the Cubs, as we talked about. So he had about three or four teams there that he played for. Um, he was the only pitcher in live ball era for the Chicago Cubs to throw two no-hitters for the Cubs until Jake Arrieta. So that's kind of cool in the live ball era. They hadn't had anybody until Mr. Holtzman did it. Uh, back in the uh, 60s and 70s. And then uh, Jake Arrieta did it, I believe, in 2007, if I'm not mistaken. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then also he won three World Series in a row with the Oakland A's. He had requested to be uh, moved from Chicago. He did no longer want to play for Chicago. He didn't explain why. So he moved him to, moved him to, Oakland, to the Oakland A's, where he won three consecutive World Series. And he apparently was pretty good for the Oakland A's. He had his best years, really, with the A's. Uh, being, I believe, a 20-game winner and then, like, two 17-game winners. Uh, those three years he was there. Um, and then he won, like I said, three consecutive World Series with Vita, Vita Blue, Reggie Jackson, that team, Catfish Hunter, Raleigh Fingers. As you all can know, those, those are pretty uh, pretty good company to be in there for Mr. Holtzman. And then uh, he lost arbitration. And wanted and they paid him like ninety five thousand. He wanted more money, so they just ended up sending him to the Yankees with Reggie Jackson and a few other. Well, actually, they sent him to the Oakland. I'm sorry, the Baltimore Orioles. And then the Orioles, before the season even started, shipped him to the Yankees, and he played for the Yankees for I think a couple seasons, like I said, and then he went back to the uh, Cubs. So it's pretty cool. He also was a, like I said, twenty game winner, and he had two All Star game appearances uh, during his career. So, three consecutive World Series, two All-Star games, uh, two uh, no, um, two no-hitters as well with the Cubs. He ended up being having 174 wins and 150 losses. He had a 3.49 ERA, and he w struck out 1,601 people. Now, that number is going to come up in a minute here to be kind of important. Now, Ken Holtzman is Jewish. Now, I didn't know that, obviously, when I first sent the card, um, or when until I sent the card, I didn't know much about him, but he actually has a very strong and very proud history of being a Jewish man and ball player. So he actually has more wins than Sandy Koufax. He has 174 wins, I believe. Koufax, I think, is that what I said? Once he had 174 wins, Koufax is 165. So he is the most winningest Jewish pitcher ever in the Major League Baseball. So that's a pretty cool uh, distinction. And then he is second behind Cole Fax in strikeouts. Now, he had 1,601 strikeouts. That's okay. Now, if anyone knows about Cole Fax, 
Koufax had 2,396 strikeouts. So, just a smidge more there. And, and then, um, he, the, one other cool fact with him is, Koufax's last year was 66. Mr. Holtzman ended up pitching against him with, I believe, let's see, 66. He would have been with the Cubs, yes. And so he pitched against the, the Dodgers, and he beat Sandy Koufax 2-1 to one, uh, the week before Sandy Koufax retires. So that's kind of cool. So Koufax retires in October of 66. They have, a one, they have one game against each other in uh, September, and he ended up beating him 2-1, to one, so that's kind of cool. And then, uh, and then he, uh, like I said, he goes on to retire from the Cubs in uh, 79. He ends up establishing a couple different Jewish baseball leagues in Missouri where he becomes a manager and helps out. He also does a lot of uh, work, or he did, as an insurance salesman. And I believe, of course, he's retired since then. But it's a very fascinating story. There's a lot of information on him on Wikipedia and BaseballReference.com if you're wanting to know more about Mr. Holtzman. So again, right here, guys, I just want to show you the card. He signed it in a, uh, a ballpoint pen, which is a little bit unusual. But I went back and looked at a lot of his successes, and that's how he signs most of the time is in a ballpoint pen. Uh, and I did uh, confirm this with online uh, in-person autographs, and it looks just like it. So I believe here... And like I said, that generation, they don't really, they're not, either they're not going to autograph the card or they're going to send it back to you unsigned. They're not going to usually have somebody sign for them and, and that's not them. It's usually going to be an, you know, an authentic autograph. But it looks just like his in-person autograph. So guys, here it is, Mr. Ken Holtzman with the Chicago Cubs. I hope you all enjoyed the video and the little information I shared with you. Until next time, peace.